Hello, uh, uh, I started the recording. Uh, hello there! <laughs> hello, I got like children. I got like halfway through the word Welcome. hello and then thought the recording hadn't started, but it actually had. So I just kind of stumbled over my own word and Hello anyways, little boy! A tuppence for you! I sounded like an old man, I get it. <laughs> But yeah, hello everybody, welcome back to some Mega Modded. Nevernim is finally I, back. By yeah, popular he hit me demand. up being like, he hit me up, he was like, hey slut, come back. And I, I was like, well, how could I say no? So we're just going to uh, do a regular old Paradox run and see what's what. The last run man, I did was still fondling this Metal R2-D2. Fondling. It's real nice. Yeah, well, what else do you call it when you carefully move something around in your hands and examine it? <sighs> Examining it. <laughs> Okay, but fondling gets across a more sensuous nature, which I feel because I put my heart and soul into making this little thing from a kit with a set instead of instructions. Did you just, did you leave a hole in the bottom? It's... First of all, how <laughs> dare you insinuate that I'm that small. Secondly, oh, that would sake. absolutely okay. The Oroclos level out. did actually go up, which is nice for once, but I fucking left the goddamn stupid... bollocks shit. What have I done? Take a shot. I'm confused well, at said, what's happening. It said keep modifiers. And I said no. Which will mean you're not playing as Paradox. Fuck! I thought that would just cancel Rainbow Mode. Rainbow Mode isn't a paid modifier, so you can't, uh, you uh... can't switch it off that way. Fuck me, I guess. But the fucking Ouroboros level finally went up. It's been at zero for so long. So once you make a mod where in rainbow mode, uh, it spawns a little interactable in the first room, where if you interact with it, it deletes the rainbow chest and turns off rainbow mode. That would be nice. I just think someone needs to make a mod where blessed mode, turbo mode, well, maybe, maybe not turbo, but like rainbow mode isn't on if you restart the game. You have to go back and enable it. Who's well, Rainbow Rain Mode's the only one that does that. Blessed yeah. Mode doesn't because you have to pay for it. Also, sorry if I'm a Get little sniffly. I've you. been having really bad sinusitis, and I fucking hate my sinuses. So That's I might fair. be a little sniffly, but I've taken medication for it, so... You know what? I'm all medded up. What the fuck? Was Did I you just, just get a rat kit? Yeah, I was just about to say, was I just given a rat kit? <laughs> well, <laughs> free Wild West, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me, game. Excuse me. Anyhow, Free Wild West. If we have the time, we'll see how quick the first floors go. It's been Anyhow, a while since you went yeah. to the West, isn't it? It's been quite a while. We should go back, just just for fun, for shits and giggles, for giggles, for giggles and, and diarrhea. Right. What 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 we got here? What are we starting with? The slings decent. Um, the amethyst bracelet. Um. If throwing guns throwing home weapons, and oh, that's pierce. Actually, that's actually kind of okay. And then we've got the Wowtastic Paintbrush. Um, let's show artistic skills from Rampant with this fun little moment. Magnificus moment. Um, uses techniques which are perspective, shading, freehand, and arson. Um, that is an art technique. I would comes know with status honest. immunities free of charge. That's pretty nice. I'm guessing you just paint with goop. Which is going to be interesting. It's... Yeah, uh... Didn't just seem to do anything. My sinuses are absolutely abysmal. I hate them. Uh, it runs in the family. We all have really narrow sinuses. It's like Hank Hill's narrow urethra. And oh, Lord. it's... It's a blight on my existence. Because it means if there's a bit of dust that I breathe in, uh, I have, like, sinusitis for months. So, I can kind of hear that you're a little stuffy, yeah. Yeah. I don't it know what the paintbrush actually absolutely does. Absolutely potty. Yeah, it sounds horrible. I don't know what the paintbrush actually does, but I'm just gonna take the status immunity and be happy with it. Yeah, fair enough. It did like regenerate one of its uses. Hmm. But like, like using you... it doesn't seem to do anything. Like I've, I've just used it. It's just. It not... started at. It started at three. You used it. It went down to two, and it regenerated up to three. No, no, so... that's just like, like, look. I, I, I used the third one. It just goes back up to three once I use the third one. Watch. Back to three. That's very. That's a really weird way of doing it. I don't know Maybe what the it hell. Maybe like three different 
maybe it has like three different like effects that we're just not seeing. Maybe I, it's broken. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see if it gives me status immunity. That's all I care about right now. That's all that really matters. But yeah, we are in a Robberos level 1 now, so things should be a little harder. I'm guessing the level 1 probably just makes it so that these elites are a bit more common. Or maybe it does that. <laughs> Where an enemy just becomes jammed. It probably, like... I don't know if this is the case, but knowing Bunny, it might upgrade their abilities. I love the glitchy floor in this room. <laughs> like, reality just breaks if you make a room this large, and I'm, I'm here for it. I love the way that it's all this for a fucking brown chest. <laughs> there is a teleporter right next to the chest. So don't be a little baby. Don't be a little whinger. I'm gonna uh, be a little whinger. It's, it's fun. I don't know. I, I love that room. It's, it's just funny. such a silly thing. You put like a glass one zone in each corner so that it forces people to run the whole thing if you want them. See, now that's a bit too evil. <laughs> yeah. Also, free glass guan stones just for a little jog. Definitely seems like the elites are more common from the Robberos now, so... See, see, I wonder if it will have made their abilities, like, stronger. Like, the healing yeah. one heals more health. Or something like that. Maybe, maybe. If not, bunny, add it. <laughs> well, I'm sure that the later Robberos levels, that add might it. happen. Add it. This guy's so small. I don't think it'll tell you where I hid the bodies. Don't do it. We don't need to know. Anyway, yeah, have you ever had, like, a really bad, like, stuffy sinuses thing? Yes, like, I, I, I'm... I tend to, like, generally when I get ill, I tend to be really ill, but for a very short period of time. So I have had it, but it's never been, like, long-lasting. I tend to be kind of ill all the time. Yeah, that's what Katie's like as well. Katie tends to get a bit ill, but it lasts for like a month. Whereas I tend to get really ill for like a week and then I'm fine. Yeah, because you're probably giving it to her. You're a carrier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most likely. Most definitely. <laughs> you're like a child. You know how people say when they have kids? Um, yeah. They suddenly like, start getting sick all the time because children are tiny little germ magnets. You're, you're Katie's little germ magnet. I am. I just pick up all the dead birds and fe fecal matter that I mouth. find out. Put the dead birds in your mouth, run around. Exactly. Oh, it reminds me of that time I ran along a beach in a nightgown, screaming and waving a spine. Nice. Oh, a spine of what? That was a fun time. I have no idea. I have no idea. That's, a, that's what makes it fun. Just a spine. Just a, a nondescript spine. Could have yeah. been a human See, spine. Who knows? Yeah, could have been. I just found a spine on the beach once, and I was uh, in a dressing gown because uh, yeah, actually, I, I didn't hadn't... even. I'm gonna say I didn't even think about that bit. That's the weird of it. The spine is kind of like eh, whatever. People find spines on the beach. Why were you on the beach in a dressing gown? Well, because it was early morning, and I just woken up by the beach, and I wanted to go for a walk. It's still weird. <laughs> I was wearing pants. So, it wasn't indecent. Still strange. Fuck you. Listen, okay, when you're on holiday, when you're camping down by the beach, nobody's gonna care if you wear a dressing gown to the beach. Nobody gives a shit. I mean, I guess. It's still strange. Just because just, just just no one cares doesn't mean it's not strange. I think it was more like concerning that I was screaming and running around waving a spine in the air. <laughs> yeah. Personally. Makes you makes you look like a madman on all accounts, pretty much. Yeah, I, it looks like I was on meth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a that was a good time. Also, that was a joke. I'm, I'm too fat to look like I'm on meth. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you do lose a lot of weight on meth. That's how I'm losing my weight right now. It's Easy like those, uh, like that, that that old joke about uh, those diet supplements. It's like those fake <laughs> diet supplements. It's like, speed. lose the weight fast. Just with these pills, you can lose the weight in a week. And it's like, are you selling fucking meth? Yeah, just like speed or like meth or something. Oh, you know, they're selling crocodile and you lose the weight by losing a limb. <laughs> have you seen those croc... Have you seen the effects of crocodile? I have not. Is it basically just like advanced leprosy? 
Yeah, basically, it triggers necrosis. Amazing. So, like, especially because I think it's, like, really makes you susceptible to infection. And it weakens your immune system and shit like that, so you're you're really quite likely to uh, get an, a horrible infection in wherever you're injecting the crocodile. Lovely. So, you basically start rotting alive. People call it the zombie drug. I can see why, that sounds awful. And of course it's from Russia. Just a second. Oh god, I just burped. Oh lord. Oh, but it's good to be back on some Gungeon. I mean, this little red gun I've got right here is doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just had to blow my nose. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. And tomorrow, I don't want to do that into the mic. I go to Amsterdam. It's gonna be good. Yeah. I'm excited. I wonder why. I wonder why you chose Amsterdam. Who knows? I hear they have a very, uh, a very interesting district based on certain lights. Oh, I was going to like <laughs> make a joke about like weed and shit, but okay, we're, go we're going there. <laughs> Actually, okay. cannabis is banned in the red light district now. Smoke. Oh, so I can't smoke weed off a prostitute's ass. You can't. <laughs> what, do what does that even mean? How do you smoke weed off of their ass? What does that even mean? Well, <laughs> the original phrase is, is yeah, I know. cocaine. <laughs> but I want you to explain to me how that would work. Well, okay, so you take the joint, right? Yes. Have you ever heard of hot dogging? Is that putting a joint between someone's cheeks? Ah, uh, it is now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was a um. Those are blobuloids, but they were had the small modifier, so they looked like blobulins. Oh. <laughs> so you kept rolling into them. <laughs> I got scammed, essentially. Yeah. I actually didn't you were pick- tricked. It was- the thing is, I didn't actually pick Amsterdam. It was, um, our, our friends were just like, Hey, we're going. Do you want to come? It's not that expensive. And we're like, okay. We are going Why for not? the prostitutes. You can pick your own reason. Well, they do have a, um, a chocolate factory there that you can go in and make your own chocolate bars, so... And it's- it's That's a, a scam. It's a brand that I very, very much, uh, enjoy, so... I've never understood places like that. Like, you know those restaurants where they serve you up a raw slab of meat? Oh yeah, that, like they, they are, they're stupid. I don't mean as in like you make your own chocolate bars and like you, you have to do the whole process. I mean as in you get to like design what flavor it is and the pattern on, on, on it and stuff like that. They don't force you to actually like go in there and do the whole process. You just get to design your own chocolate bar. Yeah. I've never like yeah. understood those hot plate I, restaurants because it's I, like I went to we're one, too fucking we're too fucking, fucking lazy awful. to finish cooking the meal, so you can pay extra to cook it yourself. So at the one that we went to, um, it was a pop up place near where I used to work, um, and uh, it was a place where they just had like a fr like a, 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 a kitchen with all the ingredients in it and you like went in and just like got the stuff out the fridge and made your own sandwiches and stuff and you paid by the hour and they had like a board game and stuff but you had to like clean up all your plates and stuff afterwards you have to like do all the dishes i'm like why the fuck am i paying to be here what's the point so you're basically like paying i guess for to <laughs> you're paying to use ingredients and play monopoly yeah like... literally and it was like it was like six pound an hour um, and, like, uh, Katie couldn't understand why I was absolutely baffled why we decided to enter this place. I was like, this is just an absolute scam. Why are we here? And she was kind of saying it like, oh, well, it's actually a really good deal if you, like, go in, eat, and then leave. I was like, yeah, but we're not doing that. We're sitting here. Why are we sitting here? We need to leave. Eat and leave. <laughs> I could see that being very fun to exploit. Like, you yeah, pay the you, six, six you could, quid for an hour, you run in, and you eat the ingredients raw, and then just sprint <laughs> well, out. Basically, like, that she, that's kind of what she said. She said, like, if you're in a rush, you could pay for, like, an hour, or I think you can pay for half an hour as well. So you pay for, like, half an hour, come in, eat as much as you possibly can, like a slice of cake, um, like, the, like the sandwich meats, an apple, and then just fucking zoom and get, like, a good meal for, like, three pounds. That's the that's the appeal, but obviously they, they but, it's not what they want you to do. But, well, it's also not what ninety five percent of people do either. Ninety five percent of people that went in were like hipster people that thought it was cool to wash your own dishes and they'd stay for like two hours. I was like, this is fucking pointless. 
I shouldn't ever have to be go somewhere and wash my own dishes. Literally, the main reason I'm paying you is because yeah, isn't isn't like, that I don't included in the stuff. restaurant fee? It's just ridiculous, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, as, like it's, it's like as well, like when you go to like a restaurant or anything. Like, although obviously you are like paying for the food, you're not really paying for the food in terms of paying for the ingredients. You're paying for the service of them preparing it for you and cleaning the dishes and not having to do any of the putting away or anything like that. That's the main thing you're paying for. Because the thing is, the ingredients on their side are... Fu Dude, this game can absolutely go fuck itself in the ass right now. You're going to give me two red chests, you give me two vanilla items that are absolute horseshit. What was the other one? The heart purse. Well, at least that doesn't give magnificence. And the grass chopper. At least the purse doesn't give magnificence. Why are you dropping the purse? Because I'm giving myself new red chests. Oh, dude, you're such a little whiny baby bitch. There you go, that's more fun. And then I'll do another one. Fuck you. That one's not good enough either. Oh my god. See, this is why people call you the cheater. I don't care. Don't give me unfun shit. <laughs> There's so many modern things to get, and you're going to give me the grass chopper and a health upgrade. Well, I installed Equilibrium, so I could see an equal amount of vanilla items. I don't want you have a mod that no, no, no. You have a mod that balances shit. Yeah, I realized that, but the main, the, the main reason I installed that was not so I could see more vanilla shit. It's so that I don't only see your items, so other creators that is, have fair That chance. is one of the reasons you cited to me, was that you wanted vanilla items well, because you could get synergies. The, I gotta say, yeah, the main reason for that is because, yeah, I want, I want to be able to see synergies. But don't give me a heart purse. Racist. Also, heart purse doesn't fucking like it's literally just free HP if you get it from a red chest. Yeah, but it's a complete waste of a red chest. I it's don't even need the not, HP because you won't. It doesn't cost a key because you get the key back, and it doesn't give you magnificence, so it doesn't decrease the chance of future red chests. But I'd rather it's just, just have, free. I'd rather just have something cool that you can get in red chests. Also, I've got to say, I'm a bit confused but about this weapon. But last year, I got six presents for Christmas. Oh, little baby, gonna cry. I'm confused by this weapon. It looks like it sucks them in, fires a tornado when reloading. Fairly standard. Is it, is it just a thing? Seems like just a thing. Is, uh, Luigi Mansion. Also, you've got to think about the fact that this is a YouTube video to entertain people and show off cool shit. I don't want to do a run where I get a weapon that I'm never oh, going to use. Oh, shut the fuck up. That's not a valid argument because you know how much people are entertained by you suffering. <laughs> what does this do? Flipping a table Just... spawns multiple meat projectiles. Oh, meat. Of... Flesh. I love flesh. Amount of projectiles is based on multiple criteria from enemies on learn of health and in range they'll be devoured. So flipping tables near weak enemies uh, deals damage, I guess. Cool. And has a chance, like, fires meat and has a chance to kill the enemy. What were you talking about? I just got so busy uh, bullying you. I can't remember. What did you... <laughs> What was the plan there? Just fire myself into explosive enemies and see what happens. Out outstanding play. Oh yes. I was talking about I my sinuses like earlier. Bosses. If if you've ever had really bad sinuses, you know that it's not just the nose. It fucks up every hole in your face. <laughs> it it makes your throat dry. It makes your eyes water. I know it fucks with your ears really bad. Yeah, sometimes when it's really bad, I've even felt like pressure behind my eyes. Like it felt like there were people with fingers pushing on the back of my eyes. Oof, that does not sound very enjoyable. Uh, and yeah, it, it fucks up your ears, makes it really hard to equalize the pressure. So like you can get stuck with really painful, unpressurized ears. 
Yeah, I, that, the ears one is a big one for me. I hate that. One thing that seems to surprise people is the teeth. Yeah, that, you mentioned that one to me the other day, and I've never had that. I don't know if it's just me, or if it's just because my sinuses are that, like, get that bad. When I have really bad sinus issues, I feel my teeth hurt. Like, I my best guess is that there's some sort of nerve from my jaw that goes past my sinuses, and my sinuses are messing with that, yeah, and it makes it feel cool. like my teeth are in pain. And... Basically, it feels like my teeth are, are swollen, like they have pressure on the inside, and my teeth are going to pop like little pustules in my mouth. Love Absolutely it. awful. Oh, you'd love it. That sounds delightful. Anyways, yeah, so that's been my recent issues. What do you want to complain about? Um... Life. No, I don't know. I played Jacob and Ease out today on a recording, and it was the oh, most insufferable fucking shit a, ever. So, no, baby. no, no, listen, so, it really wasn't much of Jacob and Ease's fault. It was the run itself was dog shit. So, but you'll hate them anyway. Yeah, I will. I, I, I made an immediate terrible decision that I knew was terrible, but I committed to it, and I took Data Miner. And it Why? annihilated my run. <laughs> Which was obviously what was going to happen. I mean, that's just what it does. So I can't really be too surprised at that part. But then, I went to the alt path. What the fuck? Whoa! Um, it's like booklets where they fire stationary yeah. bullets and then they fire. It's cool. Although some of them are stuck. I don't know why that would be happening. That's, um, I don't know. I think you broke it. I think that's your fault. Wait, do they automatically aim at enemies? They do. Yes. Okay, that's very nice. Um, so the other part of it was, you know when you go to the alt path and obviously you get a mystery item and an item you can see? The mystery item I picked up makes it so that when you fire, you get recoiled backwards, but only on one character. Oh. Uh. It was fucking awful. It ruined the run. The run was already bad. Izao had 1.75 damage. Um, <laughs> but Something that after that, it forever, just ruined it. Like Something that will forever drive me mad is the way you, uh, you'll make a bad decision and then backpedal on it, like, well, no, I didn't mean to do that, so let me just spawn something. Because I don't, like, at the end of the day, like, It's not I'm just not... you either, it's, no, no, it's but common. I'm not the sort of person that's like, oh, well, you can't cheat in this single-player game, or you're a bad person, it's just do what the fuck you want. If, if, if you got an item that you don't, what, don't think is fun, give yourself one that you think is fun, I don't care. Isaac players when they have to live with the consequences of their actions. Like, I, on on one of my, like, my original Dead God save file, I was playing as, um, as, like, trying to get my last few marks as Tainted Jacob, and, um, I had an absolutely fantastic run. It was amazing. And then I got a mystery item that was Akuldama that instantly kills a Izel. This is obviously when he was killable. Um, and it just, it just literally just ruined the run. So I deleted it. I got rid of it. Isaac, it Isaac plays when they have to live with the consequences of their actions. And I was like, no, I'm not, this isn't fun. I don't want this. And I'm just going to get rid of it. Like, I don't care. And so, like some people will be like, oh, I can't believe you cheated. But it's my, it's my save file. It's my run. If you don't like it, stop watching. <laughs> Simple as. <laughs> I've never been a big person in like worrying about cheating things I've i do it i've I never do it. been a big person i've never been a big person okay. to be fair that is also true i've never I, I am i am fairly short hope um i'm honestly gonna get rid of this thing I, I i spawned it in i don't like it and i'm honestly gonna get rid of this thing as well i spawned it in i also don't Both like it. guns that you spawned you're like <laughs> actually i think i would have preferred a heart purse that's better oh didn't this get like upgraded is that in the public version yet i don't know Let's find out. No. Okay, no, that's just something that Bunny's shown off privately. That This gun, I think, is getting an upgrade. Yeah, I, I saw, could be wrong. yeah. But it, I think it is getting an upgrade, too. Cool. But yeah, that's, that's just always been like, especially with modded Gungeon, I've been playing this series for so long. I've completed the game, like, pretty, pretty much three times over on YouTube at this point. Like... 
I, I think it's way more enjoyable for me and for the people watching if I just correct stupid mistakes or fix the game's bullshit RNG <laughs> for entertainment purposes. It's like bullshit. Well, no, it's not bullshit, but I think it's bullshit, so it's bullshit. It's bullshit until it pisses you off. It's amazing until it annoys you. Exactly. You understand now. I need some God, help. The inside of your head must be a terrifying place. My logic is not flawed at all. Would I lie? Um, I need this thing to move slower. But yeah, oh, we were talking about a crocodile before. Yeah, basically it gives people gangrene. God, I, I realize that the, our conversations are the most like ADHD thing ever. They fucking are, aren't they? They're so sporadic. And even though like I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't think I have ADHD. I think yeah, I'm just I... like. See, I'm very easily distracted. Like, I know that sounds silly. Like, I don't have ADHD. I'm just easily distracted. <laughs> but I genuinely think I am just absent-minded. See, I'm genuinely not sure. I don't think I do. But I've been told by a few different people that have it that they think I do have it. Well, yeah, but people say that about a lot of things. Yeah. But I've had, I've had like, a few comments of people, like, sort of, I was describing my dyslexia in one video, and someone was like, hey, that dyslexia sounds a lot like it's caused by ADHD, and I was like, ugh. And I had a Google of it, and they were quite correct. Oh, isn't ammo flower really good? Ah, uh, ammo flower, what's that Increase one? reload speed, all semi-automatic guns become yeah, fully auto. Yeah. yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, it makes all awesome. your guns full auto. It's that amazing if you can get sanctified oil. Oh, shit. Yeah, you ever consider that? You do that every time with this fucking room. Because I can always forget that they do contact damage, because why would they? Because they're enemies! Make them not be enemies, then. I'm going to smack you. You wouldn't dare. I... you know... why would you even say that? You know I would hurt you at the first opportunity. Also true. Oh wait, this this thing automatically shoots when it's charged now. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I've promised to throw you overboard if we ever go fishing. That is true. You have. W why would you think I wouldn't smack you? Oh, fully out of this. That's, that's nice. That's useful. Not like for me. No, no, no it's, it's like three round burst. Huh. Why? I don't know. So isn't it? I'm pretty sure that this means it fires slower. <laughs> Just that you don't have to tap. Oh, for God's sake! I hate the fact that when you like get hit, it stops charging the weapon that you're holding. Skill issue. Now it fires at the same fire rate, I think, regardless. Anyways, yeah, so people who take crocodile, you can see pictures online if you uh, want to look up uh, crocodile wounds, I which really, you should only do really if you're... Don't. You should only, to anyone listening, only look it up if you really want to see rotting flesh falling off people's bones. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Oh, speaking of, did you know the... Uh, you know that, uh, that famous controversy about the Half-Life guy? I do not. <laughs> Corpse MD1 is a model in the Half-Life series that we will probably see if we ever go back to Half-Life. Yeah. Uh, it's a burned corpse model, and the face of the model is taken from a an actual picture of a burned face. Fucking hell. And people found that out recently, and it caused a lot of controversy because people are like, Is this ethical? Is this ethical? And I'm like, I don't really care. But, go on. Yeah, sure. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> right. I got hit, so I didn't get enough money for this bitch. Which is annoying. I'd love if I died tragically that Valve would use my <laughs> burned corpse as, like, a photo reference in Half-Life 3. That would be an honor. Yeah. Um... Apparently, Valve um, actually used to use real, like, gore pictures 
as art direction, but uh, for like drawing corpses and and gibs and stuff, which well, is like wasn't... fair, but yeah. also traumatic. Yeah, I was say, I feel like it wasn't bad for the artist's mental health. But I think with Left for Dead Two, they figured out uh, that they could use like pictures of like uh, pink insulation and other substitutes to adequately simulate pictures of flesh so they didn't have to expose their employees to yeah. gore imagery okay this thing but being yeah, fully uh, altered is nice apparently uh, what people reckon is that the guy who was used for the corpse model uh, it was from like a medical textbook or something or like a medical photos yeah uh, and the guy had died uh, in some some unspecified way, and to train medical students, they blowtorched his face off. Oh, lovely. Which just makes me wonder, whose job is it to blowtorch his face off? Yeah, like, who who exactly do you give that to? Hey, Jim, yeah, we got another one. We need <laughs> you to come in and peel him. Maybe they just bring in, like, a serial arsonist, and they're like, go on. Oh. Actually, the thing with arsonists, interestingly enough, is that they typically don't like watching people get hurt. They just like seeing the flames. Yeah, they like... Arsonists like destroying things, but a lot of arsonists like deflect and like consciously don't think about the idea that they might be hurting people. Also, by the because way, it, like, for some helps reason, sleep at night. The, the aiming on this thing's like... I don't know if it's on purpose, but like, I can't find aim it. It's like locked to certain positions. Yeah, all guns are like that. But for some reason with this gun specifically, it's like really breaking the aim assist. I don't know. I think it just might be its length. Long guns tend to break aim assist. I'm gonna say, like, it... Yeah, to be fair, that might be it. It's just like not aiming where I want it to a lot of the time, like... I don't know. Uh, that's something to bring up to. Is, I'm pretty sure this is a knife to a gunfight weapon. Yeah, it is. Because yeah. it's a fucking knife and you're in a gunfight. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, interestingly, uh, most guns do rotate kind of jankily because they have like a set, a fixed. Like, what the fuck? Why like, didn't you set up of, them? <laughs> it's so bizarre. They have like a fixed set of rotational degrees. Except for stuff like the rail gun. Oh, right, yeah. Is that. Because if you've ever looked closely at the railgun, the prototype railgun in particular, I think, it rotates smoothly. Like, there's no, like, jumping between preset points. It rotates so smoothly, and when you pay attention to it, it looks so weird. Uh... Anyways, yeah, speaking of medical textbooks, um... Are you familiar with Hisashi, uh, Aoshi? It's like, it's Aoshi or Aoshi, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know the name, no. He was a guy who was uh, caught in a, a nuclear reactor incident. Oof. And there is a picture on the internet that people claim is him. It, it isn't. It's not Hisashi. Uh, but it looks really gruesome. So people share it around and say, this is Hisashi. It's not. Mm. Uh, it's actually a burn victim from Texas. That people just fake as that, why? I don't know, it's the internet. People post shock imagery and make up story. Well, it's not a made up story, it's just... It, it's a true story, like what happened to Hisachi, it's just... That's not a picture of him. Like the, like the fucking... Have you seen the Facebook post that's, this is Becky? She, she snorted marijuana and died instantly, and it's a picture of fucking Taylor Swift. Little Timmy has no legs. <laughs> yeah. Um. Just trying to think more about that. So, the, the burn victim, uh, their photo was taken from a, uh, from medical textbook, and people managed to trace it back to that. Yeah. And it actually looks like that person survived. Oh, right. Which, what the fuck? His Hisachi wasn't, like, exposed to heat burns. Well, he, he was, but he wasn't exposed to burns in the way we think of them. He was exposed to radiation. Yeah. 
which is very different. It's actually was basically liquefied. His DNA was destroyed. He was... His cells were dying. All the awful, horrible symptoms of large doses of radiation. Uh, and uh, his story is famous because he was kept alive by doctors despite begging to be allowed to die. Oh, shit. Really? The doctors who couldn't do anything for him uh, because he was dying and he was going to die because his cells weren't regenerating properly because radiation is fucking terrifying we don't have like a good cure for radiation yeah if you get I, I blasted with it I don't think that'll ever exist really will it uh, probably not unless we figure out how to fucking scoop dead cells out of you. Probably using more radiation, actually. <laughs> Just like push the radiation, like chop your arm off and use the radiation to like, like push it out of the wound. Yeah, something like that. I use the radiation to absorb the radiation. It is the only way. But yeah, Hisachi is famous because his story is absolutely horrific and. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I haven't heard of that before. I've seen actual pictures of Hisashi, and while it's horrible knowing what happened to him, it doesn't look, like, that gory on the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because radiation kills you from the inside. Like, well, it's, it's like, it's like radiation with, um, burns. It's like the skin... In, uh, what the hell the is the skin does in? die and peel. Like, his skin was dying, it sort of went a greenish colour, and he, his skin was sort of peeling off. But he, he didn't look like he'd been, like, yeah. burned. How am I forgetting the place in Ukraine? What the hell's it called? Chernobyl? Yeah, that's the one. Um, in, in Chernobyl, like, when all the firefighters, like, went into the hospital afterwards, like, they all miraculously seemed to recover and get much, much better. And then all of a sudden, like, within days, their skin started peeling and everything. Yeah. It's absolutely... Uh, see, it's something so fascinating to me. Nuclear criticality incidents. Yeah. It's have such you, a you morbid seen the, thing uh, to be interested have, in. Have you seen the HBO series on Chernobyl? No, I haven't. You should watch it. It's very, very good. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't have HBO. Neither do I. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... Yeah, so this burn victim from Texas, oh, it looked significantly worse uh, because yeah. their skin was basically all gone. They mm. looked like a red meat stick. They they looked like a you know you know how in games you'll have like a, a skeleton model where it's just flesh yeah. loosely clinging to bones. It's like red. They bones. looked like that. They looked like a to bring it back to Half Life. They looked like a fucking fast zombie from Ravenholm. Well. And but. People reckon that that person survived uh, because they found other images from the same place that produced the textbook of a person matching that description, moving around in like uh, without like a cane. What the hell? They could tell because he was really? missing a very specific limb. Uh, a very specific limb. Only four limbs. Like a, a specific part of one of his limbs. Oh, okay. I guess here. A very specific limb doesn't really work when there's only four limbs. Shut up! I made a v I made a flub. Uh, this guy wanna but... die? There you go. Oh shit! That's new. That's definitely. That's a new, new. one. I don't know if it's just you haven't seen it before because of the Ouroboros level, or if it's just rare. I'm gonna guess it's the Ouro Ouroboros level. Probably both, because if the Ouroboros level is making it more common, then yeah, you're more yeah. likely to see rare ones. Uh, true. But yeah, and the th the difference between the two uh, pictures is that Hisachi didn't look that bad on the outside uh, because it was radiation, but it, he was doomed. He was completely doomed. But he was awake and conscious knowing that he was doomed. Yeah. Whereas this burn victim was absolutely fucked up but the difference is we know how to treat burns. Yeah, yeah, the skin grafting and all that sort of stuff, but when it's internal, yeah. that ain't gonna help jack shit. Yeah. And it's, it's just fascinating to me. 
I, I have had a morbid fascination with radiation uh, sickness since I was a kid and saw, what was his name, uh, fucking Daniel in Stargate die of radiation poisoning. Stargate. Yeah, there's an early age to know about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I loved Stargate as a kid. Yeah, Stargate's pretty good. My dad used to watch a lot of Stargate. But yeah, uh, I think his name was Daniel. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, there's one episode where he gets horribly radiation sick and dies and his skin peels off and they have to wrap him in bandages. And that was like, and you were like, ooh, I need to know more about uh, this. I was like, this is absolutely awful and gruesome. Tell me more. A little bit fascinating, yeah. Uh, have you heard of Anatoly Bogorsky? I have not. It sounds like a dessert. He is one of the most interesting, like, like radiation-related accidents. Because he got a particle accelerator fired into his head. Oh, what the hell? I've never heard of that before. Oh, my God. Yeah, guy was a, a Russian... He is a Russian scientist, because I think he's still alive. Yeah, he is still alive. Uh, he was working on a particle accelerator in Russia. And walked into a, a room that was part of the accelerator. It was supposed to be off. And he thought it was off, but it was turned on. And he got a particle, an accelerated particle, shot into his head. What the hell? So, how is he alive? Wouldn't that just, like, be like a micro-bullet going straight through your head? Yeah, but you got to consider how small these particles are. Yeah, yeah, I know they're small, but I still think it would, like create a particle-sized hole all the way through your brain, wouldn't that just kill you? I suppose, it's well, I suppose it depends where it is in your brain, I guess. you got to consider, particle-sized is probably small enough to fit between atoms. Oh, that is true, that is true, yeah. But the guy did suffer injury, because even though the particle didn't physically harm him, the particle was travelling at such speed that it stopped inside his skull and released a lot of radiation. Oh shit, of course, yeah. And, uh... Guy described it later as... It, it, he felt like like everything went white for a split second, and he felt like he had, like, stared into the sun, and then everything went back to normal, and he continued his work. God damn. Because the way particles work... Uh, accelerated particles and people are actually considering using them for surgery because they have this unique property you can fire them through things mm -hmm. and they will be slowed down and eventually stop but they don't cause damage until they stop because when they stop they release their radiation yeah but if you know what energy it takes to go th to like stop after a millimeter of flesh you can Send a particle in that stops after a millimeter and releases some radiation, which could be very good for uh, chemotherapy. Like, really targeted chemotherapy firing uh, firing particles right into the tumor. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I, w I would have never expected that to be a thing. So, what basically happened was the outside of this guy's head, apart from like a small red spot on like the side of his head where the particle had entered, was basically fine, but it released like a bunch of radiation directly into his brain. Guy, um, guy lived and he's still alive today, but he's uh, he he's struggling. Why well, like, like, so, Yeah. Uh, from what I recall, the particle left him. He, he's alive, but it left him with seizures and, like, other issues that happen when your brain gets fizzled. Oh god, what's this gonna look like with the fucking... <laughs> How is that actually working? I'm shocked that that's working. Why does it make it so big? <laughs> oh, that's kind of great. I love that. But yeah, Bogorski's another one of those famous tales of radiation gone wrong.
So I want to get shot with a particle accelerator? Sounds... Sounds like a, a really, really good way to have a fun time. Oh, interestingly, Bogorsky couldn't actually access Russian, like, healthcare for his radiation injuries, because at, like, at the time that this happened, uh, Russia's radiation, uh, Russia's radiation relief systems and such specifically were made for people, uh, harmed in Chernobyl. Ah, oh, right. And he couldn't, like, he had radiation uh, injuries. He had injuries from being irradiated, but he couldn't get help for it because uh, he didn't qualify because it wasn't involved with Chernobyl. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit stupid. <laughs> Sorry, Re only, only the only real radiation comes from Chernobyl. Don't you know that, God? You and your fake radiation. Fucking faker. Oh my god. Yeah, but I also love the story or love is a horrible thing to say about a story where, <laughs> intrigued where three by. people died. Intrigued I'm intrigued by, by the story of SL1. What's that one? Basically, it was America, the American military trying to build a miniature nuclear reactor because they thought they could use it to like power nuclear tanks and shit. I don't think this is actually hitting. No, it is. It's doing it's pretty hitting. good damage Sorry. as well. Um. Yeah, uh. SL1. So basically, was... they were going the Fallout route and trying to power vehicles with nuclear power. Yeah, they were trying to make tiny nuclear reactors that you could take with you. <laughs> Wait, and... The logic of that is so flawed. What if the tank gets blown up? We'll think about that when we get to it. Like, that is, like, I feel like that's, like, because the, the thing is, the tank is very, very, very likely to be on your side of the battlefield. And if it gets I, destroyed uh, by a fair, mortar or something... To be fair, I think it was more for, like, temporary military encampments. But at the same time, they do sort of still have that same problem. Yeah, they can get bombed or mortared or whatever, yeah. I think the idea was that, well, it's going to be in foreign territory anyway, so it's not so our who problem. cares, yeah. Uh, but yeah, SL-1 was basically a, a test, a prototype, and because of what happened there, that's why America doesn't have little nuclear reactors that they send to every, in, like, every military encampment. Yeah, not a great idea. There were three people on, on site taking care of the reactor in a pretty remote part of town. It was like in the, in the outskirts of a city. And what's worse, the, the police, not the police, the fire department had a direct line to this place. But one of the people who worked there regularly set off the alarms as a prank. Oh. Fuck's sake. They, they boy who cried wolfed it. <laughs> yeah, they, they did. Like, when shit went down at the SL-1, the fire department didn't take the alarm seriously and didn't rush over. Like, they, they still went, but they didn't rush over. They took their sweet time because they thought it was just going to be another false alarm. Fucking hell. And, uh... Basically, they had to lower... Uh-uh nuclear rod into the reactor and there was like a it was like done by hand it wasn't done by a machine you had to like crank it in there yeah and if it if it went too far it could go critical and start releasing a lot of energy and nuclear reactors uh they have water in them mm -hmm, yeah. which means that also uh anyway so just prefacing this this thing likes to get stuck. The the rod would get stuck as they tried to jam it into the nuke hole. And the the official like way of dealing with it was I just wiggle it a bit. Wiggle it a bit, oh lord. So yeah. They um So people figured out what happened was that one of the guys was putting the thing into the hole. 
as he did. And uh, pushed it in a bit too far, like jammed it in, th in there. It went critical, released a ton of energy, like boiled the water in the reactor, and oh uh, made like a steam bomb, and it exploded with like nuclear steam. Holy shit. <laughs> At the scene, uh, fortunately only three people died, but I think some uh, some firemen were irradiated. So basically again, more they than three people died, just not at that exact moment. <laughs> well, I'd say like three people died and some more people had their lifespans shortened. Which yeah. is similar, but not quite the same thing. Like, if something makes you die ten years earlier, it didn't really kill you, but it kinda did. It's a grey area. I don't know, I, think, I feel like radiation is specifically one of those things that's like, if you get irradiated and you are, un unless unless you die by a freak accident, you are guaranteed to die because of that radiation, then the radiation kills you. You get irradiated every day. The no, but I mean, you, you know what I mean. You. you know what I mean. Yeah, I know, but this is sort of what I'm saying. Like, if we're going to classify any dose of radiation as a fatal dose, then you have to count the sun, too. No, but uh, any... Any uh, dose of radiation above the normal amount is what I mean. Like, the sun is so, obviously a, a sunny cost. day. No, that's not above the normal amount. Sunny days happen all the time, all over the world. I mean... Yeah, they give you skin cancer. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just picking goddamn point, like, holes in my point. Goddamn you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, because it's very fun to do. Uh, but yeah, so they found... Uh, two of the guys on the ground like torn to shreds but I think either one or both of them were still alive but they died very quickly mm -hmm. uh, because they had suffered traumatic injury and were irradiated to all hell yeah getting near them is a danger sort of irradiated uh, some of the people who were working on the uh who were investigating the alarm uh, actually thought their equipment was broken because it was maxing out the readings on the Geiger counter. Oh, God. So they went back and they got new equipment and it was still reading maximum. And, and like, they couldn't oh, no. find... They didn't find the third guy for a while. Had he been, like, flung into a tree or something? So... Remember that he was... This was the guy who was pushing the nuclear yeah, yeah, rod yeah. into the hole. Oh, has he had evaporated? And... No, no, it's worse than that. Oh, Lord. When the thing exploded, it fired the nuclear rod like a giant nuclear bullet out the top. Yeah. And the guy had been pinned to the ceiling. Oh, shit. Wait, and they didn't find that immediately? How high was the ceiling? He was so mangled, they thought it was a rag or a piece of cloth. Oh my god. They didn't immediately recognize that he was a, a human body. Wow. That's how they didn't find him. God damn. The world should yeah, do so be a fucked up place. It was actually really difficult for them to like clean up the site, because they were terrified of accidentally dropping the fuel rod back into the reactor oh, God, and making yeah, it yeah. go critical again. So they had to like hoist in a tarpaulin to yank out the rod and let it roll down safely away from the reactor. And uh, that's why America doesn't use many nucle nuclear yeah. generators because of SL1. That is quite something. Like, you'd think you'd hear more about these sort of stories, but yeah. I hadn't at all. The uh, the three men, or what was left of them, were buried on military property in lead-lined coffins. Yeah, it would have to be. We going bullet hell? Nah, I, I don't quite have the time. Fair enough. But the yeah, hope you enjoyed my story time about I, horrible radiation I accidents. I actually very much did. Thoroughly interesting. It's basically like my daily dose of the History Channel. <laughs> I'm glad I could be the History Channel. Have you heard about aliens? <laughs> Definitely accurate history.
See, these people drew a picture on the ground, and they made it real big, and we don't know why they made it big, therefore it must have been aliens. It couldn't be because they thought the gods would see it or something. No, it was a definitely aliens. Definitely and these aliens. people, they also made big stone structures that are still standing today, and that's gotta be supernatural, because there's no way a big pile of rocks wouldn't fall down, even <laughs> though triangles are the strongest shape in engineering. <laughs> So it yeah, clearly how, must how be aliens. It? it must be aliens. It must be. Just not, like that time aliens nuked slaves. Chernobyl. I, w one time my uh, my friend mistakenly said, and I don't know if he believed this, but he said this, that he thought that the people that built the uh, pyramids were contractors. And I was like, no. No, no, no. <laughs> These people were not being paid for their labor. I friends. imagine like... 0.1% of them were contracted to whip the others. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I just found it so funny. I'm like, no, no, no. no I'm you just imagining like Bob the Bob the Builder in ancient Egypt <laughs> doing contract work for the Pharaoh. <laughs> just gotta get his daily daily work in. You know. Yeah. Right. Anyways, Anyways, we should leave this off here. Yeah. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Nice return to Nevernim joining the series, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the yeah. next one. Chell's gonna go off to Amsterdam and fuck bitches, get money. True. True. Bye. Goodbye. Okay,